Hello, Internet. Today, I wanted to take a little bit more of a look at the directory stack. When we're working with terminals, everything is kind of stored in a in a terminal stack or a stack of directories that you've been previously. Um, we talked about this previously in the last video that used pushd and popd to manipulate that stack. Um, and so the, there's really three commands, I guess, for moving around. There is the cd or change directory. Uh, there's pushd, which is going to push a new directory onto the stack. Um, so we would give this, say, A, and now you can see there's two things on our stack. Um, if we wanted to move back up a stack, um, we're going to take the last thing off of the stack, which is going to be that A directory, and we'd get back and just have, we'd be in our test directory. That's currently where I am. Uh, and so the, the directory that I have right now, if I just list everything in there, we have a directory called A, a directory called B, and a directory called C. Specifically what I want to look at is how we can actually work with multi-directory projects really easily inside of a single terminal. Um, and so one of the ways you can actually view what's on your stack is by typing this dirs command. And now there's nothing interesting here. Uh, it's the same output as when we did popd. Uh, but the interesting thing is if we give it a dash v, <clears throat> we're going to see that there's a zero here. And that's the index in the stack of this entry. Uh, and so if I were to push back onto our stack. If I run this dirs-v, you'll see we now have two things. Uh, and so the new directory takes position zero, and the previous directory is now in position one. Uh, and if we keep doing that, we'll continue to build this stack up. Uh, and you can, if you want to, push the same directory back onto the stack. So now we have the same directory twice in our stack, and they're two separate entries. Um, and so this is kind of important because what we're going to do is we're going to kind of clear this out. Uh, there's a command to clear this. I believe it's dirge-c. Uh, and so if I do dirge v again, we're back and we have nothing there. Uh, change directory is actually going to pop the thing off and then push the new directory on. Uh, and so we don't actually add a new entry when I do that. So we're, we're just back into our test directory. So what I want to look at is we have three directories here. We have A, B, and C. And let's say we want to work in all three of them. Um, so there's going to be some things that we need to run in directory A, some things we need to run in directory B, and some things we need to run in directory C. So what I'm going to do is you can see the numbers increment as we go through this. So I want C to be our third directory. I want B to be our second directory. And I want A to be our first directory. Um, those are one index because of just the way this trick works. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to push <clears throat> all three of those onto this. Uh, so we're going to push C, and then we're going to push uh, B, and then we're going to push uh, A. And so I'm doing the double dot, which is going up a directory, and then doing this because we moved into the A directory we did it the first time. And so now we have four directories in our stack. Um, that's because we pushed our first uh, C directory instead of just changing to it, um, but the, the results are going to be the same. What we want to do now is we actually want to add another entry to our stack. Uh, because when we were moving around, when we were using the CD, we were actually changing this first entry, the zeroth entry. And so we want sort of a consistent uh, stack that we can continue to reference. And so if we do still have something we care about in the zeroth position, we're going to overwrite that when we move. And so we don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is just push our current directory there, which if we do dot, that's just going to be wherever we are right now. Um, and so now if I list this more nicely, this is what we have. In our zeroth position is the A directory. That's where we currently are. In our first position, we've also stored A. In the second position, we've stored B. In the third position, we've stored C. And now there's a fun way to move between things. You might have seen CD and then the, the tilde, the little squiggle. Uh, that will take you back to your home directory. What you can do, though, is actually provide a specific index to index into your directory stack. So if we want to go to B, I can do CD, uh, whatever, and do the two. And we're now in directory B. And if we look at that directory stack, you can see the first entry changed. And that's where we are now. We're in directory, the second directory. 
And so this will work pretty much across your file system. You can use this to get wherever you need to. If we want to go to our C, uh, that's going to be number three. And so now we're in C. Uh, if we go on to go back to A, we just type one, and now we're there. Uh, and so this is really a handy way to kind of move around. You can make this as big or as small as you want. Um, just remember the zeroth position is going to be overridden. Uh, and so if we look at that again, it's now A, uh, because it's just always going to be where we are. <clears throat> and this will still work. So if we need to like go up two directories, for example, the rest of those entries are still the same. Uh, and so this is still going to work. If we go to CD and go to the second the, or the first directory, we'll end up back in A. Uh, and so it's sort of a way to kind of easily handle these multiple projects and, and move around your terminal a little bit more easily. Um, so I'll leave it here. I think this is sort of what I wanted to cover. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this documentation is a little bit like in the Linux man, man pages, you can kind of find this. Um, Stack Overflow is more helpful for me. Uh, but I thought this was useful. It's kind of a handy way to, to work in multiple directories. Um, so if you thought it was cool, um, maybe consider subscribing and there'll be more, more interesting things. Uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for showing up and I will see you in the next video. So until then, see you internet.